Hola, let's get in my Spanish kitchen today and have some fun making a totally savory tapa of wild mushrooms from the Basque country in Spain. We're gonna start with the classic preparation of getting olive oil in the pan. It doesn't matter how much, I probably used a half a cup, but I'll be using more as we go. I've got it on a medium temperature. I'm adding all the minced garlic. I use three cloves and I'm going to add all the shallots. It's only taken about a minute to get these things nice and fragrant and crispy. And all I'm gonna do at this point is pull them off, drain them. Now, I'm gonna return this oil directly into the pan. Not necessarily all of it though, just enough to get the mushrooms going. And I'll begin with the largest cremini and button. You want a reasonably good temperature going because what we're after is not to crowd the pan. We don't want these mushrooms to steam. We want them to brown and get nice and flavorful. And so this will take just a couple of minutes. First batch of mushrooms are ready to come off. Put them in the bowl, reserve them until the rest are done. There's still enough olive oil in the pan. I'll add a little bit more though for the next batch. And the next batch will take care of all the delicate little Japanese shiitakes and shimenes. These will go really fast. We just need to toss them around just a little bit in the oil. My temperature is at a saute, so 150 degrees centigrade. Can you see the little bit of crispy brown we're getting? That's all we want. And we're gonna move on to our next type of mushroom. Remember, a little bit more oil, just to keep everything moving nice. And we've got mini portobellos and mini creminis. By the way, I forgot to mention the trumpet mushrooms are in here too. With the last batch almost finished, I'm going to start the finishing touches. I'm gonna add all those mushrooms back into the pan, mix them around a little bit. The same with the garlic and the shallots that we put in before. Now we just wanna mix these around, get them nicely blended. Next stage, is a little bit of sea salt to heighten the flavors, a little bit of Palomino Pino Sherry. We're just gonna put a little bit of that in to add that sherry flavor. <laughs> Once again, the smell alone, if I could capture this and put this on a video, it'd be a real winner. You can see what a beautiful amount of color there is to everything. Combination, it's spectacular. So we're all done with the cooking part. I told you this was gonna be simple. All we have to do is ladle this beautiful mix of mushrooms into our serving dishes. Then we're gonna make a little space in the middle for our secret special ingredient. Not only is this super flavorful, it's incredibly pretty. It's just glistening with that garlic and shallot olive oil. Now, what I wanna do is make a little space in the center. Yesterday, I pasteurized some eggs by boiling eggs at 60 degrees centigrade for six minutes and 12 seconds so that you're sure you have no problems with using a raw egg yolk. And all I wanna do is very gently lay that egg yolk right in the center of the dish. It becomes our sauce. A sprinkle of sea salt over the top, a sprinkle of parsley, and a final sprinkle of cured manchego cheese. 
we are all ready for an incredible tapa or pincho from the north of Spain in the Basque Country.